Hey guys, so I just wanted to take a moment to talk to you about an article I recently wrote, and it was in response to the press release that went out by the House Judiciary Committee Republicans stating that the federal government has illegally and without a warrant worked with financial institutions to gather information from people's bank accounts on whether or not they had purchased Bibles recently, um, had supported any type of MAGA or Trump purchases, uh, MAGA's Make America Great Again, whether they had shopped at places like Dick's Sporting Goods, Cabela's, or Bass Pro Shops. This is an unfair targeting and an illegal targeting of people who fit the demographic of uh, Christians, conservative Republicans, um, and it is all in the name of anti-terrorism. They're looking for lone wolves, homegrown terrorists, um, and religious extremists. Um, in America, it is hard to believe that this is actually happening. Um, we are a nation founded on um, the freedom to participate in our um, religion. Um, we're a Christian-based um, nation, and um, patriotism has just ran in our blood since the beginning, uh, 1776. Um, so the fact that this is happening right now um, in America is surreal. But as a Christian, we are Christians first, and then we are Americans. Um, at Vintage Virtues, we try to respond um, through the lens of Philippians 4.8 and think on things that are lovely and uh, worthwhile, things that are excellent and praiseworthy. Um, but what do we do when there are times um, that the truth is not excellent and is not praiseworthy? Um, there is persecution um, and unfair targeting that is happening. So as a Christian, um, we are to seek justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with God. Um, in America, we have a, a process and a system of justice. Um, and so we are able to legally uh, pursue uh, the government in what they're doing right now. Um, this is illegal activity. Um, and so we do have legal rights surrounding that. Now, as a Christian, um, we also need to walk um, with humility and knowing that um, Jesus faced persecution. Okay, but take heart and know that Jesus overcame this world. And so um, we are to take this in prayer. Um, to Jesus. We are to continue to gather together with um, other believers um, and not to respond by not purchasing Bibles, not attending fellowship, um, and not doing these things. Now, also, there is uh, greater persecution that is happening in other countries, and we need to be aware um, in places like China and India, um, people are not even able to own Bibles um, much less this issue that we're having with uh, having financial transactions combed through. Um, so we need to pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ that are facing even greater persecutions. Um, but I thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm also going to link up that article um, in the comments as well as a link to that press release um, from the House Judiciary Committee Republicans. All right, y'all have a great day. Thanks.